Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to discuss some very recent changes in the skeleton, especially the facial region here, and we're also going to discuss how bone cells now control diabetes, at least to some extent. So bone cells are no longer inert. Okay, so first let's look at the skull. Okay, you can see it a little bit here. We've, we've discussed before how the nose region here, the skeleton part above the nose is getting longer and covering over what used to be, used to be just a fleshy area of the nose is now protected with this bone here. Okay, so what I've noticed lately is a lot of images are showing some bone pinching in from the sides. So it's not just coming over the top now, it's pinching in. And um, this region in here has the, the dividing line of bone here has gotten really well established. So you can see it the most in here. Um, also, this region out here on the cheekbones continues to expand. Uh, we're seeing more and more of that, I think, in faces. I'm certainly not the first person to notice this one, but I notice that it's continuing. All right, so let's look at another image here. All right, you could see here, there's like little ridges and, and bumps here, and, and this fissure is interesting. There's becoming a really well-defined fissure along here. Uh, we used to just have the fissures up in the cranium region, but now we're getting fissures all over. There's another one right here, and one coming down here. So there's one across the brow, one down the side here, one right there, and I believe there's one there also, but we'll see that better in later images. All right, here's some more. Yeah, see here, there's a fissure here. It comes across on the eye, comes down here, and it also comes straight. So there's actually a fissure that goes all the way across here, and it, it even goes across bones that aren't directly touching it. So that's interesting. All right, let's go to the next image here. Okay, these ones, these replica bones actually show it a lot better. Uh, there's also one back here, and there's one here. These holes here are getting huge. This one here goes back. You can see that there's actually two fissures in the eye sockets now. We never had that before, but uh, that's interesting. So maybe this is getting closer to their final form now that the fissures are starting to show up. So pretty weird. All right, so the last thing I discovered, just kind of looking around, and, and I found some interesting info, and it says... I guess in 2007, now, uh, the skeleton was determined to be an endocrine organ crucial to regulating energy metabolism. Researchers at Columbia Vernon University Medical Center have now identified a surprising and critically important novel function of the skeleton. They've shown for the first time that the skeleton is an endocrine organ that helps control our sugar metabolism and weight as such, is a major determinant of the development of type 2 diabetes. So in the past, we had the bone marrow was basically in charge of handling bone growth, and um, it would also create blood. But now it looks like the bones themselves are doing all kinds of things. Bones are typically thought of as calcified inert structures, but researchers at Columbia University Medical Center have now identified a surprising and critically important novel function of the skeleton. They've shown for the first time that the skeleton is an endocrine organ that helps control our sugar metabolism and weight, and as such is a major determinant of the development of type 2 diabetes. So uh, that's a bit of a change. Uh, the, the, it looks like the bones are going to have additional duties besides just being bones now. So kind of an interesting development, and I will keep you informed. This is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline.